Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Is this a rowing machine? It is. What in the world? What are you asking for it? That's a really good question. That's my husband. Let me ask him. Okay. What are you asking on this thing? Um, I was thinking 30. 30 bucks. Yeah. How old is it? I'll, I'll tell you where this came from. My yeah. uncle was in charge of maintenance for Drake Hospital. Okay. They threw all these out. So these go back to like maybe the 50s or 60s. No kidding. Yeah. But, um, it looks like it weighs a ton. It's a little heavy, but yeah. I tell you what, uh, I get on it. it I mean, it is a good, I, I love this thing. Yeah. I was on here yesterday. And I did. I just way. knocked off like a hundred. Does it have a tension level yeah. or? Uh, where is that? I think maybe it's underneath. Yeah, it's it right here. Wow! I'll buy it for thirty bucks. Okay. I've never seen one before. So. It. Uh, I. I kind of. It's like I really like it, but we need room. Yeah, uh, I understand. Oh, crow? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I saw them down in uh, Lexington, at Railbird Festival. Oh my God. I love that group. Yeah, they put on a fun show. Oh, man. I was just putting this on there for now so I can get somebody to help. Then you gotta move it again. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just doing it for the customers now. Oh. What do you need help with? Oh, you can't carry it. It's a heavy fish tank. It was a fish tank. <laughs> Thank you, though. Muscle Thank you. girl. <laughs> Thank you, though. There you go. Sure you go. Did you see that? I did see that. Yeah. I know. I keep reading to see Willie spray painting that like a pretty color for the grandkids. You want a hand with the tank? What's that? You want a hand with your tank? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay. I love your garage. Oh, thanks. You selling any of your signs? Oh, uh, no. Here, let me move this. Yeah. I really appreciate that. That's so nice. No problem. Yeah, I, I was asking. I was going to ask 25 for the sword, sword, sword but yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you for, for help me yeah, here. Yeah, this thing is heavy. Holy cow. Oh, there it is. It is heavy. Excellent. All right. You're welcome. I like your wood yard sale sign in there. Are you selling that? Yeah. Are you? What do you want for that? Uh, take it for helping him. Help him. <laughs> no, I can pay for it. I'm on $5 for it. Sold. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you for helping me. Oh, no problem. Good luck with your sale. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> it's a mermaid blanket. Oh, Good morning. Morning. How are you? Is this hat two dollars also? It is. Okay, so I owe you three. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm done with the first neighborhood, and I'm going to meet my wife, Whitney. She's dropping the kids off at camp, and we're going to hit another neighborhood sale. It's, like, right down the road from here. I'm so excited. <laughs> ready to hit some sales? I'm so ready. Morning. <laughs> that I bring her out. Danny What's DeVito the, pillow. But it's a surprise one. So no. you give it like that. <laughs> and then it's Danny DeVito. I feel like we should get that, that for um, Joseph and Brendan. Do it. We will take your pillow. Alright. Yeah, we got this. There you go. Oh, family apples Thank to apples. Thank you. Morning. How you doing?
Can we go across to the other one? Okay. Have a good day. Oh, it's too small. Ah! It's the shaggy That's and hilarious. The That'd be so cute. There's Velma too. I see, yeah. <laughs> it's too fun. That's great. Our son's a little too a little too old for that though for this year. That's cute. Look at all these. Yeah. Holy. There's a bunch. This would be good for the girls. Get them. So those are bath bombs. This one definitely. That's funny. The nail thing? Yeah. They would get a kick out of that they one. Oh, really, yeah. This looks like a party right here. Yeah, well, I know. For 50 oh. cents each, you can have a party. <laughs> Heck yeah. I, mean, I even pull a chair up for you. That's just. <laughs> you can take them on your next, you know, wow. garage sales. Yeah. <laughs> early morning, early morning. Yeah, you got it. Hey, it's Friday. And it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Right. Okay, I think I'm ready if you're ready. Yeah. Alright, we owe you guys, let's see, five plus four is nine. Awesome. You got that? Yeah, cool. got it. Thank you guys. No I was problem. saying if you want a bag. Oh no, it's okay. Let me know. There you go. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Much. You too. Um, I'm gonna run back across the street. There was something that looked okay. up that I want to get. Is it unlocked? Yeah. I'm gonna get your teapot. Yeah, my wife tells me they're limited edition. That's what she was telling me reading the bottom. Yeah, the pretty neat. So. There you go. Thank you much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. The front ones are pretty common. The ones further back are more rare, I guess. What are you asking for? Uh, it's probably like four for the front ones, then up to 20 for some of the ones in the back. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. This is hilarious. Did you you knew about this? What? No. <laughs> Brennan's in on it though. Oh yeah. my god, that's so funny. You and hey, nice to meet you, John. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Alright guys, what you just saw was an epic prank that was set up by uh, viewers Glenn and Christine. They were in town for the reseller rally and they talked with my brother-in-law Brennan and my wife Whitney about where I was going to be garage sailing that day and Whitney was actually with me so she was like texting them as we were going through this neighborhood and they made this incredible Funko Pop. It's actually at home right now but I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you guys can see it. They made one for me and then they made one for Lonnie of Garage Flips and that's actually why I waited to talk about it. So I did a, a little haul video that day of everything I found, but I didn't mention it because I think I thought they were going to surprise Lonnie with it at a sale, uh, but they ended up just went ahead and giving it to him. But they went to all this work to make these customized Funko Pops, and then they went to the next level and found the garage sale area we were going to go to and just went up to a random garage sale and was like, hey, you know, can we pull a prank on a friend? And the person like totally went for it. So when I saw that Funko Pop, my eyes just popped out of my head. Just such really cool and thoughtful thing to do. Glenn and Christine, I cannot thank you enough. That was just awesome. Thank you so much. Glenn has a channel called Brainstorm Rodeo and he actually has a video of making that Funko Pop. So I'll put a link down below in the description for his channel if you want to check it out. All right, now I'll show you guys the other video I recorded on Friday that shows the rest of the haul stuff that I found at the garage sales. So it's a little bit scattered all over the place. Um, this piece right here is really cool. My wife actually spotted this. This is a vintage step stool that converts into an ironing table. So this folds down and then you got an ironing board on top. That's just a really neat piece. Paid $5 for that. Got some golf clubs at one sale. Let me move some of these small pieces out of the way here. Got a set of tailor-made fire sole irons. These are a little bit older. I'd say 20 years old, but they do still have some value. I got these and this ping putter. It is a B60i. I paid... Let's see, they wanted like 55 total, and I think I got them all for 40. Should be able to sell the putter for 40 or 50, and the irons, I think I'll get close to 100 for them. Then this whole tote here is stuff that I got on Friday. I got this awesome yard sale sign, vintage, handmade, 
paid five dollars for that that's gonna go on the wall here somewhere got this cool cincinnati reds hat stars and stripes i think they did this for kind of like a july 4th thing that was two dollars got this grinch snow globe and i didn't open it up or anything it was only a dollar but i'm gonna pop it open and take a look at it really quick that's neat that's got some cool detail it's not a musical snow globe or anything but still pretty cool for a dollar kind of hard to pass that up i got some clothing at one sale let's see i think it's two mark daniel shirts pretty sure these are well i thought they were yeah they're men's so this says 15 15 and a half which i think is the next size so i would equate this to like a small maybe a medium and then here's another mark daniels shirt looks like it's the same size these were a dollar each and they just had a cool vintage like 80s look to them so i went ahead and bought them when you found this justice league diecast car ryan newman paid five bucks for that i got casino royale collector's edition new in the plastic this was i think it was two dollars and it, this one actually sells new in the plastic for like 25 bucks got a couple of kids tennis rackets i'm just going to keep these here because i've got a bunch of tennis balls and stuff for the kids to play with this one's actually a racquetball racket but just for them to play around a little bit that'll do the trick i got a barbie doll box has some damage let me see if i can wiggle it out of here box has some damage not in the best condition um but it does have some value so this is a holiday singing sisters i paid 10 for it and in the condition it's in i could probably get 30 or 40. i got this really cool teapot get this lid back on here we actually went to the sale and i noticed it and i don't think i had my phone on me my phone was in the car so i went back and looked it up it is a fitz and floyd famous landmarks around the world white house numbered uh 536 of 5000 so it's just a teapot looks like the white house pretty neat i paid 10 for this and it is selling for about 50 bucks got this guitar hero guitar as part of a bundle deal with an xbox which should be down here in this ikea bag so i'll show you the clothing and then i'll get to the xbox um this sale with the xbox had some clothing and shoes for a dollar each and i snatched it up so we got a pair of men's sperry's too small for me these are size 10 for a dollar for Sperry's, I can't pass those up. I'll probably get 20 bucks for those. Then we got three or four Vineyard Vines shirts. Here's a Vineyard Vines men's medium polo. This is a Vineyard Vines men's medium long sleeve shirt, it's like a quarter zip. And then another medium, I believe. Yeah, Vineyard Vines button up shirt. All those were a dollar each. I've never sold Vineyard Vines, but I know people do good with it, so I can pass it up. Uh, and then I got this Xbox bundle deal. They had a little post-it note. Xbox bundle, console, connect, Guitar Hero 2, controllers, games, uh, $40. And then the parentheses they put much more expensive on eBay. So I didn't question the price. I went ahead and got it. The fact that there's two controllers and the Guitar Hero controller made it a good deal. Um, it is, I think, one of the newer versions of the Xbox 360. Uh, 360e console it's one of the smaller ones not like the original big one so i don't know what these are going for but 40 bucks i know there's some money to be made the games aren't the best i don't think but they'll add a little bit of value i don't think any of these are probably going to be worth less than separately maybe the guitar hero game with a guitar by far my coolest find though is right here this is a vintage rowing machine I've never seen one. I've dealt a lot with sporting goods and exercise equipment and stuff, and I've never seen this thing before, so I had to jump on it. He wanted 30 bucks for it, so I paid him 30 bucks. It is really, really heavy. I think this thing weighs over 100 pounds. So this is definitely gonna have to be a local sale. It might take a little while to sell, just because you gotta find the right buyer. I would venture to guess whoever buys this is not gonna actually be using it. They're just gonna have it for a cool conversation piece. I saw, a few sold comps, like nothing on eBay, but like local, like auction houses or Facebook or whatever, near from like 150 to like four or five hundred dollars. I really don't want to hang on to this thing forever because it's big and bulky and it's just going to be in the way. So I'll probably try to list it for like 150. And if somebody offers me 100 bucks, I'll probably take it just to get it out of here and make a little bit of money. But it was just too cool to pass up. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.